Hi, my name is Anakshi. I'm from year five. I'm going to start this talk by asking, how many of you did not use any form of plastic? Everybody uses some form of plastic. We use plastic for everything. Our chair, our television, our cell phone, and even our water bottle. But why do we use plastic? Because it makes our life easy. Firstly, it protects food or other products from damage or contamination, like gases, insects, germs, or even lichen that harm the product. Secondly, it is light and unbreakable, compared to other packaging materials such as glass. Thirdly, it is cheap. So let us collect some data of plastic usage. We are producing nearly 300 million tons of plastic every year, half of which is single use. It does humans buy one million plastic bottles per minute. I'm sure all of you have heard of plastic pollution. Plastic pollution is plastic litter. It can be anywhere, on land, in ocean, and even in the air. And it is affecting wildlife, plants, and even humans. So more than 8 million tons of plastic is dumped into our oceans every year. Thousands of animals, from small fish to big whales, die by eating or getting caught in plastic. So plastic not only affects wildlife, but indirectly it will affect humans as well. Plastic can be harmful to us on land. When thrown on land, it makes the soil less fertile. This means that the soil can't grow plants as it is supposed to, and we will have less fruits, less vegetables, etc. By 2025, we will have three times more plastic. 49% of the marine animals will die, while a majority of other marine animals will have plastic in their stomach. Humans will eat the marine animals and plastic will be inside us. And we all know we are the future. We need to change the world. If one of us makes a change, it creates a ripple effect. The first thing we should do is segregate the garbage in our house. One for mixed waste, one for dry waste, and one for plastic, which can be recycled. Recycling plastic means melting plastic and making something new out of it. You can then send the plastic to garbage companies, which do recycle plastic. Secondly, instead of buying a plastic bag every time we go to the supermarket, we can buy one big paper bag, which can be used every trip to the supermarket. This is a very simple and effective move, by which we will not only save money, but also the planet. We could also make art supplies out of plastic. We could make house decorations out of plastic bottles. We could make Christmas ornaments out of plastic bottles. We could also make plastic like a pot to grow plants in. It not only saves our planet, but we also get to do a lot of fun activities. As you can see, plastic brings us no good in the future. It's time for us, the future generations, to change this. Not, not only for us, but for generations to come. So let's swear that we will reduce the usage of plastic and save our planet. Yes, we can. Thank you so much.